Hey, good evening. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer coming up to 8 p.m. on Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024. We have a broken line of thunderstorms developing along a Pacific cold front located across northwest Texas, south into the big country and the Concho Valley, almost now into the northern Edwards Plateau. We have going on are a couple of these storms throwing out hail. Especially in northwest Texas, you can see around Wichita Falls down to Seymour. We've got storms intensifying now, producing quarter to golf ball size hail. We had an individual supercell move over Wichita Falls with golf ball size hail. That storm just went tornado warned as that was moving over the Red River into southern Oklahoma up towards uh, Ringling, Oklahoma, Grady, Oklahoma. Eventually, this may be an issue for Highway 70. Wilson, Lone Grove over to Ardmore, Mary, maybe Marietta, Oklahoma. But fortunately, that storm is now north of the Red River and not a Texas issue. Uh, it did produce a brief tornado southwest of Wichita Falls around 530. We also had a couple of brief spin-up tornadoes in the Panhandle earlier, one around Perryton, one southeast of Shamrock. As it goes now, we do expect this line of thunderstorms to continue to intensify over the next couple of hours as it moves east. Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model, and this will show this line of storms is going to pretty much make it all the way to Louisiana and Arkansas by the time we get into late Monday morning and early Monday afternoon. Now, the best chance for severe thunderstorm activity, quarter golf ball size hail, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds, maybe a few spin-up tornadoes will be the next several hours through about 2 a.m. as this line of storms continues to move east towards Interstate 35 in Texoma, North Texas, maybe even parts of Central Texas, including the big country, the Concho Valley, Texoma. And again, hazards, quarter to golf ball size hail, especially while storms are kind of discreet right now, damaging straight line winds, that threat's going to pick up here in a couple hours. Potential for spin-up tornadoes, we have a lot of low-level wind shear tonight. Heavy rain, fall cloud to ground lightning. Now, after midnight, as we head into the pre-dawn hours Monday, storms are going to weaken. They will continue, but they will likely weaken below severe limits in terms of big hail, wind, the tornado threat, which is a lot of rain, lightning, gusty winds. We may see some isolated severe activity continue through the morning hours, and then as we get towards lunchtime tomorrow, we may see some uptick in organization as storms start moving into a more unstable environment as they approach Louisiana and Arkansas. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download your device's apps, and we'll be keeping an eye on things here as well through the evening. Meteorologist Jason Cooley, Storm Chaser Adam Lucio heading, heading to intercept that tornado warned storm moving towards Ardmore, Oklahoma. You can watch their live storm chasing feed on the Texas Storm Chasers website and on Texas Storm Chasers over on YouTube. We'll keep an eye on things. Hope you'll do the same. Have a great rest of your evening. God bless.